This is a short video on how you can use SOS with Virtuoso. In this example, we're going to create a library consisting of a cell, and we're going to check in that library and cell into the SOS for revision control. Now, in this example, we assume your CAD person has already set up the project under a service. Here you can see in my case, the cat person is called Toolman and I'm going to be a user called Bill. Now inside Bill's working directory, I have a file called cds.lib and we are going to let SOS manage all the library files. The contents of the cds.lib file is very simply include sos underscore project dot lib and this would have been created by your CAD team. Now since we're working on a project in this example the service is called Honda, the project is called Prelude. I created a directory called Prelude as you can see here. I first invoke SOS and you see the GUI window opens. Click file, new work area. I pick the server, in this case it's a Honda server. The project I'm going to work on is called Prelude. I leave all the other options as is and then click OK. Now, as you can see, this is the server. This is the project. We have some files that are already existing in the repository. And as mentioned, the toolman, for example, these were already checked in by user toolman. These files, as you can see, the cds.init, cds.libmanager, see this info tag sos project lib are all checked into the repository the only file you do not check into the repository is the cds.lib file now the first time you use this since these are all in the repository we can select them and what we have to do is right click and click populate the first time these are created you would actually hit create but since the tool man, the CAD man in this case has already created them, user bill will just have to populate them. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll see now that four objects have been populated. Now, if I look in the prelude directory for bill, you will see these various files. And you'll notice that some of these files are sitting in the repository. So let's go ahead and close this or minimize it. We don't need it now. I'm now going to minimize this. I will open up Virtuoso. The CIW window appears. Now a good check to make sure version control is enabled. Just look for these few lines, clear anything with clear on it. It's a good indication that the integration has happened correctly. I'm going to go to the library manager and we're starting from scratch. Let me go ahead and minimize these so not to cloud the screen. We're going to create a new library. Select File, New, Library. Give it a name. I'll keep it in the current working directory. For now, I will say, do not need to process information for technology library. For Design Manager, I will select SOS. Click OK, check in these properties, provide a comment. I won't provide a comment. Click OK. Now wait momentarily. What will happen? Some properties get created for this library. So go ahead and click OK. I'll skip the comment, but click OK. You'll see the message log appear. We'll go ahead and click dismiss. Go ahead and 
click OK. So now we see Ben's new library. For this library, I'm going to create a new cell. So I select Ben's new library, file, new cell, view. I will call it cell one. I want to create the schematic, leave the options as they are. And you'll now notice the library path will be updated into the cds.lib. But we've actually enabled a way for SOS to manage this. And I'll talk about this momentarily. So I click OK. The schematic editor opens. In this particular example, I'll just add a few wires and click Save. Go ahead and close it. And you'll now see a schematic view has been created. Now we haven't started using revision control yet, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add Ben's new library and the cells and the views under SOS revision control. So go ahead and click Ben's new library right click and select check in the check in window appears you'll see the status is unmanaged the library the cell and the view i can add a comment and then click ok now you can see a check mark by the view of the schematic by mousing over the schematic view, a tooltip appears. You can see the name, the DM state, the version. And this is how you check in a library, a cell, or a view into the SOS repository for revision control. Now we talked about the cds.live file. What I'm going to do is bring up the terminal. This is Ben's terminal. We'll do an ls. Now let's take a look at the SOS underscore project dot lib file. You can see that we've added Ben's new library to this. And what we are doing is letting SOS manage the libraries through this file. So your CDS dot lib file just includes the SOS underscore project dot lib. So this is a short video on how you can create a new library and put the new library under revision control using SOS.